Fiends Burgers. How many players are in a rugby team? 400. Don't be silly. Hello! Hello there! You know we're all vegan. What? Touch it. Harder. This has got a really dodgy subtext. I am looking forward to today. I, um, I'm out the house, so I'm always happy. And I gather that I'm going to be cooking for some rugby players. Is that right? I've got, like, the ingredients to cook them a Greek fettery eggy pie. I, it's got a proper name, Spanopitaka. I don't speak Greek. Sp Spanopitaka. Spanakopita. Spanakopita. Spanakopita pie. I quite like dishes that pretend to be harder than they are. Like, a quiche is good. Because people are always like, oh, you made a quiche. This span off to pukaka pie, it's a bit like a glorified quiche. I think they will like what I'm cooking today. I really hope so, because it would be like a sort of anxiety dream if they all just throw up. It'd be like a barfarama. Oh, look at this. I mean, it looks great, but it is outside. It's an outside kitchen. Why are there no walls or roof? It's an editorial choice. Crazy. Should have come around my house. I've got a roof. It's got everything except walls and warmth. We're in a field. I won't be using that. That looks like a health and safety nightmare. OK, so let's get involved in what I've got here. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. Me? I am Flex, the microwave in your kitchen. I retired from show business in the 90s but when Channel 4 Digital said I could have my own show, I said, why not? Oh, hello. Identify yourself. My, I am Kerry. I am a human. Processing. Welcome to the kitchen, Kerry Godleman. <laughs> I met Flex the talking microwave. I have three heat settings. How many do you have? Kerry Godleman. <laughs> I have... Loads of heat settings, especially now, because I think I'm menopausal, Flex. I feel the heat, although I do defrost. <laughs> why are you here? I'm here to cook a signature dish for a rugby team. That's why we appear to be in a rugby pitch. That is the format. Thank you. You have made this before. I'm a vegetarian, so I didn't want to make them like meaty things, so I've chosen a vegetarian pie. We've gone with frozen spinach, because when you have the real stuff, you need sacks of it. Cheap spinach. Uh, feta cheese. Feta. Salty Greek cheese. Feta. 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 I would not advise you to cook this dish for them. Why? Why? It is the format. So what is the format? I've got to go and talk to them. You will obey the format or you will be eliminated. But, but what do you mean eliminated? Little standby. <laughs> OK. And I'll be back. Don't touch my ingredients. No one will touch your cheap spinach. Kerry Godleman. He's going to be annoying, isn't he? Hello! Hello there! Woo! I'm not really into rugby, I must say. I don't really understand it. All that league and union stuff. It's like the offside rule when people start explaining it to you. Like phone contracts, I'm like, shh, shh, shh. Hello, rugby players. Hey, guys. Sorry to interrupt. Listen, um, I'm Kerry. I'm going to cook for you today, and I know what rugby players are like. I bet you eat a lot of steaks and burgers and drink a lot of lager. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook you a healthy pie. It's a spanner patikoka, spanner patikika. Sort of cheesy feta spinach. I think you're going to like it a lot. You do know we're all vegan, right? We can't, what? We can't eat egg and cheese. What? Yeah, we're a vegan rugby club. What do you mean you're a vegan rugby club? Oh, well, we're all vegan. They're vegan! I know I should have told her. Hashtag orcs! That's not a thing. Plot twist, they're vegans. Who knew? I knew! Kerry Godleman did not know. We don't eat any dairy or anything like that. Maybe today, just today, we could have a little cheesy pie? No, not today. What about a load of vegetables in there with some chickpeas or something like that? Veg are only interesting if you season them with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> no, I suppose what I'm here to do is to um, cook for you, so I better get on with it. I see now that it does say that they're vegans on their oh, yeah. costumes. 
Right. Identify yourself. Kerry Godleyman still. Kerry Godleyman. That one. Uh, listen, there's a problem, and I feel like you knew. I, they're vegans. They don't eat eggs and cheese and stuff. Correct. Yeah, you knew that. Correct. Yeah, they knew that. This is a wind-up. I'd get it now. Correct. Listen, <laughs> I came with a view to cooking my signature dish. Do you not have another signature? No. <laughs> No, I didn't have one in the first place. You lack signature. I, don't, I have no Gary signature. Godleman. Yes, I have no signature. We can improvise. We will create a dish the likes of which these rugby players have never tried. Really? I didn't know what to expect when I arrived this morning. I was quite open to whatever this whole experience was going to throw at me. I was feeling good. I had a bag full of groceries. I was going to make my signature dish. I'd spent all yesterday thinking, what is your signature dish, Kerry? And I came up with my lovely pie. And then it transpired that they're vegans. Located recipe. OK, great, cos I've got nothing. Vegan kebabs. Vegan kebabs? Vegan kebabs. I don't see you coming up with any alternatives to vegan kebabs. Besides, the episodes are only ten minutes long, so there is literally no time to argue. Let's get cooking. Kerry Godleman. Step one, beans burgers. How many players do we have? How many players are in a rugby team? Google that. Googling. 400. No, come on, don't be silly. May I heat your burgers? That just sounds weird. Open my face. Touch it. Harder. <laughs> this has got a really dodgy subtext. Good God. When I got up this morning, I didn't think I was going to have a flirtation with a microwave. Look into my pulsating red eye. You can't resist! I'm going to look at my kitchen in a whole new way when I get home. You may insert burgers Come on. in my face. No, look, I can't insert the burgers in your face. You won't fit inside you. Use my nemesis. Come on, what's that? The one behind you. Engage cooking montage. Yeah, I love a montage. You need a montage situation for this. I've got everything. Oh, I feel like a chef. You look like a chef. Thank you. Step one. Locate red cabbage. Pre-chopped. Chilli sauce. Look how pleasing that is. Some salad. Now what? Beans, hummus. Hummus made of beans. Pleasing. Explain flat bread. It's bread and it's flat. Explanation successful. Beans burgers. Beans burgers in the oven. Oh, these smell nice. Now what am I going to do with this? It's hot. Throw on floor. No, come on. Throw over shoulder. What? Let's chilli it up. Drop that chilli. Do you know what else we need? What? Vegan garlic aioli. Got it. Drizzle. Look at that. We should hit the town after this. What, me and you? Why not? Because I can't be a woman walking around flirting with a microwave. It's weird. Open your mind. No, it's still weird. I opened it and then I'm shutting it again. Love is love, Kerry Godleman. But fine, I've misread the signals. Serve. To who? The rugby players? Of course. Now? Of course. Once again, the format. <laughs> Hello! Hey. Yes! Hey. Look what I made! Oh, oh, lovely. This isn't what I planned. As you know, I planned to make a cheesy eggy spanopita for pie. But you can compensate things for things. So I took the egg and the cheese out, and the spinach and the phyllo pastry and the pine nuts. In fact, I just dumped all of that and we went with this. These are bean burger kebabs. Right, are you hungry? Yes! Tuck oh, in, enjoy. You. What do you think? Uh, yeah, Out of 10? 11. 11. Yes! I mean, it's been a win-win day for me. I made some food, I learned to say spanopita kapai, and I made friends with a microwave. She did the right for a vegetarian, so, <laughs> yeah. I'm free to go? Yep. I'm gonna go. Let's go! I'm not going with him. I don't have to take him, do I? I'm coming with you, Kerry. For always. No. Kerry Godleman. I think you should stay here because you seem happy here. And I'm married, so bye. Do you want to see her again? Yes, but I think I've spoiled things now. So maybe the best I can hope for is to be friends with Kerry Godleman. <laughs>